not using your knowledge is like consuming a bunch of food, like 10,000 plus calories, and not doing anything with it, not exercising. What do you think is gonna happen to you? You turn into this big whale. Wrong. Have you never seen Matt Stoney? That's literally all he does. YouTube him. Matt Stoney? What? Um. Yeah, but this is different. He probably has a way to get rid of it, you know? Yeah, he probably, but you just said, if you consume all these calories, you're just gonna be a whale. Yeah, but I, that's to prove up. And I, I don't even sound like that. <laughs> you kind of do. Just, just play my intro. Woken, awoken, I'm sipping on potions, evoking emotions that cause you to move. I don't even need to see a movement. Once you hear my voice on a beat, you're probably moving. Hey guys, back again with another video this week. If this is the first time that you're on the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment below on the all of my videos, just go and check out everything. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually made a video on how to learn faster. And then previously, I made one on why your creativity matters. I actually had one of my friends come up to me and say that there should be a follow up to that. So this is kind of that video now, not kind of, this is the video right now. So today we're gonna talk about how do you go about applying the knowledge that you have acquired. It's actually something that I've been thinking about um, it's really simple. The only way that you can apply your knowledge is conversion. As we know, the information that we receive when we learn something, um, that value that we add to ourselves, it's personal. It's definitely something that's within you. You obviously know how something can work, how something can be done or maybe how something can be improved, but of what value is that to you if you keep it to yourself? So the only way that knowledge can be applied is when you bring value to others. It's <laughs> really that simple. Because for example, if I were to be educated in the art of cooking or I know how to cook exceptional meals, then there are many paths I can take. I could start a YouTube channel about cooking. I could make a cookbook. I could further study nutrition and then become a nutritionist, open my own business, have my own restaurant because I know how to cook. Essentially, what benefit does that have with me besides, well, money, obviously, you'd probably want some monetary exchange for the knowledge that you've acquired over the years. But the value of cooking or knowing how to cook no longer belongs to me solely. It is now something that I'm giving back to the world because I am converting the knowledge that I have inside here into something physical. Just think about it. What if you were able to learn everything in the world, know all of the solutions to every problem in the world right now? You could just fix earth, but you can't because you don't have the will to apply it. Would knowledge have any value then? I follow by a philosophy. Um, I'm not really sure where this thought process came from within myself, but I subscribe to the thought that knowledge is most valuable before you have it. That's the high point of where, okay, this is why I need it. This is why this is so rich. This is why this is so valuable because I don't have it. That's why you have stuff like trade secrets, secret formulas. Um, information is protected on such a high level because of the fact that if it's not readily available, it means you can now convert this rare information into a value that not many people can do. But your knowledge is basically useless or without value. And in a sense, you would be without value if you don't convert it. This is where we come back to the why your creativity matters. Because what if Marshall Mathers never picked up a pen? What if Colonel Sanders patented KFC's recipe? He had how many spices? Seven spices, 11 spices, how many herbs, whatever the recipe is. Imagine if he patented it and did nothing with it. We wouldn't have Kentucky Fried Chicken. You see, he was knowledgeable in frying chicken to 
bring value not only for himself because obviously getting back to the point you get monetary gains but that gain benefited society or rather there was a benefit to society imagine if that recipe was patented and he did nothing with it so we would now have never experienced kfc and i don't think that would have been a world to live in um get me off of this planet if we didn't have kfc that's why knowledge really and truly is beneficial to have it makes sense to know stuff but what's the point of knowing anything if you don't convert it if you don't like i said convert that into something of value for someone else so really and truly the one way to apply knowledge is to sit down and think about how can i have these thoughts in my brain be of any value to someone other than myself it's kind of why i started youtube i always wondered okay i'm reading this i know this um watching all of these videos self-development you know read all these books and then you you have all of that but then what you have casual conversations with friends i am very grateful for the people i have in my life because we can share with each other the knowledge and experience that they have is valuable to them but it's it lost that value because they would have had it if you understand where i'm coming from being that they give it to me that value is now bestowed onto me so a conversation just like we're trying to have right now, and you can continue this conversation in the comment section, that is me giving my knowledge to you. And that's me applying my value to yourself. So for you, I could have maybe, you know, could start a book, I could continue to do spoken word, I could um, apply for getting a TV show, go on radio, it doesn't matter. The point is that my knowledge is only valuable if I give it back to you. And that's why in recent times, we've been seeing a lot of, especially within the movements, and you know, so many people are quote unquote woke, are getting so much information in their head that they now appear to be so superior than everyone else because they have an understanding of it. But really and truly, they're almost always using their knowledge to just appear to have the edge on ordinary people like myself like yourself they just want to say that okay i know more than you but what value do you bring to the table besides scorn are you then offering me lessons into what i should be looking at are you then offering me something that is more than just you rubbing your own ego because you know so that's it for today like at the end of the day knowledge for me like i said is most valuable when you don't have it the moment you have it it kind of loses value because it makes no sense having something knowing of something and doing nothing about it so of course check out those previous videos like i said how to get creative five ways to learn faster and then of course with that start to make value in someone else's life